Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your science notebook today. Um, hopefully you have finished the puzzle project and figured out where that science notebook came from and what it was about. Um, good job. And um, now it's time for you to set up your science notebook. So you are going to need your composition book. Um, you're going to need um, some packing tape, which I will provide for you. Check around the room, there should be plenty. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors. A glue stick or tape or maybe both um, you will need to pick up I don't have them in here but you will need to print pick up your printed out notebook cover that assignment that you did last week it should be all printed and ready to pick up from Miss Warren it's on a half sheet of paper and you will need a small copy of um, the puzzle that we did the notebook puzzle that we did so um, all of those things you need to have handy um, when you put together your science notebook you'll also need a pen or a pencil okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our cover on so you're going to take that half sheet of paper that, with the printed out notebook cover that you worked so hard on you're going to get it right on the center of your notebook and you're going to tape over that with packing tape um, so I suggest that you just lay it down Lay out the packing tape over the top of it and stick it a little bit. You can even stick the paper to it like this and then just stick it down and you'll cut off. Let me see if I can show you guys. You're going to cut off any extra right here. Okay. Make sure it's stuck down nice and tight and then fold it over and tape the extra on the inside. Okay. Now I've only taped down one side of mine. So I want to um, cover this. So I'm going to do that again. Try not to lose the end of your tape like I did. Okay. And again. Okay. Just a piece of tape over the top. Letting it out. Cut it. And fold the extra over. Okay, and you're going to do that one more time. You should need three pieces of tape, not more than that, um, in order to completely cover your, um, seal your cover onto your science notebook so that it sticks. And I lost the end of the tape again, which is the hardest part of this. Um, so I won't do it right now, but you'll put one more piece of tape here, and then I'll completely seal it over. Okay, on the inside cover of your notebook, right here, um, you have a bunch of references, um, could be different depending on where your notebook came from, um, but we're going to put a special reference. We are going to put our puzzle, which is a famous scientist notebook, and hopefully you have talked about this with your group now and figured out some of the things that this scientist included on his notebook that makes it a good notebook entry. Um, so he's got a page number, he's got the date of the assignment, uh, or the date of the entry it wasn't an assignment for him it was his work um, he's got a sketch with labels he's got a written explanation one other thing I'd like you to include is if it's for a particular assignment I would like, like you to include the name of that assignment so I've given you a small copy of this um, to write notes to yourself on and then we're going to tape that just with regular tape into the front of our notebooks as a little reminder of the things that we should be putting in all our notebook entries. Okay, now depending on how you've decided to set up your notebook, you might not be doing page numbers, but all the rest of this needs to be included every time. Okay, and the next thing I want you to do is go to that first page, and I want you to think about table a table of contents do you want to have a table of contents in your notebook some people really like to have them it's a quick reference they'll put page numbers in I've done page numbers here in green if you want to do those and they do a table of contents so they can quickly find whatever they're looking for um, other people feel that that's a lot of extra work and they don't want to do it so they just make sure that they put their entries in in order um, so that they can always go back and find them and they um, include all these things that we talked about on the notebook entry every time. Um, it's up to you. However you want to organize your notebook is up to you, um, but it needs to be organized. Okay, so if you're going to use table of contents, go ahead and set that up now. I suggest that you save 
a couple of pages for it because um, you will use this probably the whole year. Um, and then you can set up your first notebook entry for me just so I can see how you're going to set those up. Um, notice I've included the name of the assignment here and I've included the date and there's plenty of room to do my drawings and pictures and labels um, all here and we'll do this natural object observation on Thursday which should be tomorrow. Okay. Um, so you want to get that notebook entry all set up so that I can see how you're doing it. If you are planning on using page numbers, make sure that you um, go ahead and number your pages today as well. Okay, this is the bare minimum that you're going in order using the date and the names of the assignments. Okay, one last thing for you to do, and this starts from the back of the notebook. So you're going to flip over to the back of your notebook. Okay, and you're going to open it up backwards. And starting in the back of the notebook, you are going to put a glossary. Okay, the glossary, fancy word for um, a mini dictionary, right, is going to be where you keep track of your vocab words for the year. And for every entry that you put in, I want you to put in a, oh, this is backwards, um, I want you to put in a word, um, part of speech, the meaning of that word in your own words and a sketch or that um, like a quick picture that shows what that word means or use it in a meaningful sentence not I don't know what this word means but a sentence that shows you know what it means okay um, now as I look at mine first example here so for mine I use the word biology here I indicated that it's a noun and um, it means the study of life Okay, and I used it in a sentence because I think it's hard to show a picture of biology, but if you have a good idea, go for it. Um, so the sentence I did is, we study lots of living things in biology class. Notice that my sentence needs to end with a period and my quotation marks need to end there. Okay, um, <clears throat> so I've been doing this in a marker so that it shows up well in the video. I suggest you use pen or pencil. Uh, if you make mistakes, don't worry about erasing them. Just cross them off and keep going, okay? So I'd like you to pause the video and set up your glossary just like this, including the example there, biology. Um, and we will have a glossary assignment coming up soon where you keep track of your vocab words. Um, everybody's glossary is going to be a little bit different. You're going to be putting words that you are learning and defining them, okay? And once you've done all that, you have set up your science notebook. Good job.